Hey guys, Dragon from MuseShop.net here and today we're talking about the instant animated skill bars Muse widget. As you can see here you have several options after you install the widget, but the most important one is the animated skill bars version 101 or the latest. You will need to drag that on your canvas first and we're using this widget to control what we are gonna turn into a skill bar. You have some presets that we've made for you over here, but you can also use the widget to uh, turn anything else from Muse into a skill bar. For example, you can turn this rectangle into a skill bar. Let me just give it color. What you need to do is give it a graphic style name. So let me just call this bar and then you need to enter that style name here as well and exactly as it's called over here it's case sensitive and best practice is to use only letters and numbers so let's say bar the other options you can choose are the animation duration that means uh, how long it will take the bar to reach the end of the animation and you have the animation delay which means that when you scroll to the skill bar on your website you can choose a delay in seconds for it to start animating. And of course you have the option to uh, control the direction of your skill bar. That's what we call choose a skill bar type. So you can select from left to right, that's our default. You can choose from right to left, bottom to top and top to bottom. Let's leave it as it is. And let's preview what we've just did. Here it is. So we've basically uh, took this rectangle, gave it a graphic style name and then we, through the widget, we control the same graphic style name and give it options. Now let me show you how to use our templates. Click on library and you can use any of these templates you like. So let's say I want a uh, template bright version uh, and full width. The cool thing you can do is you can drag it now with responsive breakpoints included. So if you're using uh, museshop.net default muse file with the same breakpoints as we use, you can actually drag and drop the animated skill bars and they will be perfectly positioned on all breakpoints with custom style for each layout. Let me just show you. The best thing you can do when dragging our template that will create breakpoints is to put it on the top left and try to aim for, the, for this edge over here and then release. And here it is. Now, since we already had these breakpoints, you didn't see anything happen. But let me just repeat that if I delete this particular breakpoint. And let's repeat it. And when I drop, you see that this breakpoint has been recreated now because our template told Muse to create it. The next thing you want to do is click on the skill bar and check which graphic style it has. So it has skill bar normal with capital B and N. So let's go over here and let's say skill bar normal. Okay. And let's preview. Here it is. And as I said, it's completely responsive. Also, you have other templates that we've created for you. So you can have uh, this custom bar, which you can use to create your new skill bars uh, from scratch. Let me just see what's the name in the graphic styles. It's the same name, so that's kind of cool. Once you set it up over here, it will work on all of our templates. Let's preview that. And here it is. You can have multiple instances of the widget on your page. So let me just copy this over here and let's tell it to have a reverse direction and let's call that one reverse. I'll just use this as an example. And if I rename this graphic style to create a new one and call it reverse, let us see that now. I don't know if you could see it, 
but it went in a different direction. Let me drag it over here and let's have a preview again. Here it is. And that's basically how you use our animated skill bars widget.